the skate. Collected by Blake. The team's leading point getter and goal scorer in the first step. Over to Perron. Another shot off the iron by number 18. It's got to be six on the year. You've gotten used to seeing it. I think you're right, Jake. Blake! That one finds the twine. Precision from the set four. And North Dakota opens the scoring on the power play tonight. Well, the man that draws the penalty strikes first, but look at the good job that Jackson Koontz does in front. Look at this. Goaltender can't see anything. Koontz just all over the goaltender in front there. So Blake just a heads up play. You see almost slipped and fell right there, but a good job pulling that screen right in front. Big, strong guys, you know, against some of these top programs, which it really should uh, be a, a nice ease into that tournament for them just getting used to this. Well, this is an age group that went undefeated at U-17 Worlds last year. Nick Four leading that group to a gold medal. Trying to repeat the feat. Oh, and now they get a lucky bounce that goes against them. Logan Britt driving in. Puck got poked away and went through the wickets of Kemp, and it's 2-0. Well, what a snipe. By Logan Britt, <laughs> it's just a busted play right here. You're going to see he gets a pass, and he's just going to bring it to the net, pokes it, just actually goes off the defenseman. Looks like it went off of uh, Will Skihan, and it goes, surprises the goaltender right here. You can see he didn't even see that. To see the Kraken in a primetime spot, an afternoon spotlight game, of course, on national television as Stiga comes across. Good stop again by Hedquist. Keaton Pearson trying to clear. Hagens, Hemming, North Dakota in. Whoa, James Hagens labeled the future BC Eagle. Able to get one past Hedquist, and it's 2-1. Well, you can feel the push coming from Team USA. And I said they needed a line change here earlier in this, but that's just an absolute NHL caliber shot. James Hagens, look at this, just absolutely rips that that goes bloody bar just over the points into the neutral zone Britt tied it up for a moment here come the Americans once again centering feed knocked down good chance in front and it's buried there Lucas Van Vliet on the doorstep Team USA with the equalizer with 237 to go in the seconds Well, Team USA taking an opportunity over a bounce right here. That puck just goes right to the defenseman trailing in. He just throws it to the front of the net and lost assignment right in front of that net. Don't let them players get right in. A couple of good offensive plays, though. One outstanding shot by James Hagen to beat Hobie Hedquist to make it 2-1. to one. And a good backdoor play with Plotz finding Van Vliet to make it 2-2. Two -two. And now a good chance in front. It's knocked in. Stuffed home again from close range. And the U.S. up on top for the first time tonight. And it was Camille Bednarik who finished the playoff. You're going to see Bednarik just does a good job of surprising Hobie Hedquist right here. Watch this. The puck goes down low. He just makes a heads-up play. Watch this. Going to get to the front of the net. Hedquist is looking over to his right. And this thing's going to go 5-0. Watch it. Off the netting there and just a heads-up play to not wrap that right along the post, but goes in front of the net a little bit more so he can elevate that puck. Jeff, that came two years ago, a 2-0 win. Yeah, I think Blake got by with a tripping penalty there. Pick four, kind of giving it to the official. I think even the linesman kind of looked at the official to see if they had their arm up or not. Just two penalties so far tonight that have resulted in power plays. Four total penalties called this evening. Here is Blake, Johannes with open ice. Hunter Johannes, how many times have we seen him do that this season? Level at three apiece. Well, Hunter Johannesson's ability to get in the clear and be able to use his speed and shoot that puck while he's moving his feet is what makes this so hard to save. He's still moving his feet right there. He's not set. So the goaltender, you get out, and it catches him by surprise just enough, and it's placed in the perfect spot just underneath the glove of Nick Kempf. 
And what a big goal for North Dakota Hunter Johannes is double teams. This will rim in and the clock will run out. And for the second year running between North Dakota, two, three, and one now after having that long unbeaten streak in three on three snaps earlier this year. And right away, a fake. Zamer denied again. Headquist with three massive saves in OT. The NCDP, though, will keep it inside the zone. Cole Hudson. Off the post and in. Team USA in overtime. Courtesy of Cole Hudson gets the victory at the Ralph tonight. Well, North Dakota really gets uh, uh, caught being a little sloppy with the puck on three on three. And then it was Minnesota, or a U.S. Uh, under 18 team with the better of the opportunities as it wore on. But just an absolute perfect play shot over that blocker of Hobie Hedquist is Hudson with a great NHL caliber shot right up where the bars meet. And he wins this one in overtime for the U.S. under 18 team and a big win for this program coming in here. Getting out shot 39 to 23, but somehow finding a way to claw out a 4-3 win. Well, we've seen his older brother do that against North Dakota at a Guinness Arena earlier this season. Cole cut from the same cloth. That is his eighth tally of the year, and it's a sweet one for this national team development program. Back-to-back -back wins this weekend to start this busy stretch. Remember, they've got a camp coming up in two days against Minnesota. They will cherish this one, though. A big win over the number four team in the country in overtime. They turned the tables on a North Dakota team who did the same thing to them last year. Nick Kemp, what a performance by him. 36 saves this evening in victory. EJ Emery and company coming to Grand Forks. EJ will be back before it's too long wearing a different color sweater. His team victorious tonight in a fun exhibition back and forth between these two and a pretty wild three on three in the ends. I thought it was a really good exhibition hockey game. Probably one of the more competitive and more kind of engaged 